group by which is one of the most frequently and most important function when it comes to data analytics because that's something which gives us a statistical summary of our data let's understand this with an example here you have one table which has many variables for example we want to use payment method and we want to see for each of these payment methods how many transactions have been done which should look something like this if you can notice over here for cash we have 344 transaction for credit card we have 311 for e-wallet 345 so this kind of summary you can get using group by function not only this you can also expand this statistical summary to a broader label which looks something like this so here if you see we have two label of group by information first one is basis on gender and second one is basis on payment method so here we are getting the payment method summary for each of the gender for example this information says how many female customer has done the transaction using cash payment method the answer is 178 how many minimum transaction they have done one maximum transaction they have done using cash method is 10 and the average number of transactions are 5.6 and the average rating which has been given by this cluster of female customers are 7.18 so all of this kind of information you can get just by simply using group by function hello everyone welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video please do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon here we have data mart of a supermarket which contains many variables and here we want to see the summary basis on payment method how can we do that so first you need to provide the data frame name and then you need to say group by in the bracket you need to put the variable name basis on which you want to summarize the data and then the aggregative function which you want to use for example here we wanted to summarize the data basis on payment method and the aggregation which we wanted is count we just needed the counts for each of the variable sorry each of the payment method now that is done you just need to hit enter and here you have this result now let's say we want to if you can notice over here it is giving you the count for each of the variable for each of the payment method that means for cash there there are 344 invoice id similarly for each of the variables right let's say if you have some five missing values in gender column so here you would get 339 but in the variable where you don't have any missing value that would give you a complete number which is 344 so now here it gave you the count for each of the variable which looks quite hazy right possibly you might not be interested in that so how can you limit that for example here i am interested in seeing only the count of quantity right so i can just put that particular single variable name in a box just after the aggregating function and then i can just execute this so this was the summary basis on payment method only now what if we want to summarize the data basis on payment method as well as gender let's try to do that we will see what happens if we use it like this so i just provide both of those variable names right in here in a list in the form of a list and just hit enter bravo now here you have the two label of summary in the same way you can include as many variables as you want now here the problem is we are only getting the quantity variables value and that is count now what if we want to see the count of quantity minimum quantity maximum quantity and average quantity all right so how can you do that so let's try 
doing that for that we can use aggregating function let me show it to you how can you do that for that you just need to say df dot group by in the same fashion let me copy it copy and paste this quickly so that it will help us in saving the time now after this we just need to say dot agg here i would like to take a pause and i would like to tell you that i have made a comprehensive video for this aggregative function only right if you have not seen that yet i would request you to just click this link showing at the upper right corner or you can also use the link provided in the description section and you can watch that comprehensive video then that will be very helpful for you now here in the bracket we will provide what sort of thing that we want to do over here all right let's try this if this works whoa this gives a error count is not a valid function for data frame object how can we fix this let me just do this yes so now that was a because we know python is case sensitive so we have to be careful for that so like previously we are getting the count for each of the variable now what if you want to limit this you can just do that now here we have the count for all of these two variables now if you want to get some as well you can do that as well Here the problem is, we just need to make a list of all the functions. Bravo. Now, here we have count of quantity, sum of quantity. If you want to see minimum quantity, that you can also do. If you want to see maximum quantity, that can also be done. If you want to see the average of quantity, that can also be done. Alright, so here we have all these five kind of information, statistical information, segmented basis on gender and the payment method that's it now this happened for quantity variable only what if you want to see all of these things for quantity variable and you want to see the sum of total cox and you want to see the average of rating and you want to see total gross income for each of this segment right how can you do that let's try doing that for that again, I will just copy and paste this thing over here to save the time. And you just need to do one thing. Instead of list, you just need to make a dictionary. What is it going to be in dictionary? So here you just need to put the variable name first for which on which you want to apply all these functions. So here the variable name on quantity, I want to apply all these functions. Now, here comes the next variable name. What is that variable name? Cox. And on this, I want to perform sum. So I'll again put a list of sum. Again, the another variable which I want to use, that variable name is gross income. Let me copy this to save the time. And I will just put that variable over here and for that I will say for this I want sum again I am interested in seeing the average rating what is the average rating for that again also I will just put the function in list and here I would say mean so this is how let me make zoom it little bit so that it could be much clear to you so i'll repeat it you simply need to say data frame name then group by and in the bracket you need to put all those columns basis on which you want to summarize the data so here i wanted to summarize it basis on gender and payment and then you need to use aggregate function and in the parenthesis operator you need to create a dictionary of all the variables followed by the respective functions which you want to perform on that.
let's hit enter bravo here we have all that summarized information let's read it out for female population for credit through credit card transactions the total number of transactions are 163 sum of the total quantity is 928 and the minimum number of transactions are 1 maximum number of transactions are 10 so this 163 represents to the number of records this does not say this many items has been bought 928 items has been bought using credit card by female population right and 163 females has done this transaction so the answer will be 163 females did purchase 928 products using credit card minimum product which was purchased was 1 and the maximum was 10 average is 5.69 and the sum of cogs is this same gross of income gross income is 2547 and the average rating given by this population is 6.89 so this is how you can use group by function to simply sum summarize your table and get the statistical information of your data in a very flexible manner i just hope that we clarified the doubt how to use the group by function in your day-to-day -day work to get the statistical insight of your data just in case if you have any doubt do not forget to put that into the comment section for that you need to practice as much as possible and let us know in the comment section what sort of summary did you get using this group by and what are the challenges that you faced how did you solve that and what are the parts which are yet unsolved we will definitely try to solve that for you until then thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck all the best